Okay, we'll just do a very brief summary of chapter 18, because I'm not sure if we're ever going to have time to uh, go over this stuff. So chapter 18, animal reproduction and development. Okay, so how, how do animals just reproduce? With uh, animals use both sexual, asexual, and sexual re reproduction. Asexual, things like binary vision, flatworms, split into head and tail, and both will develop into full adult. C anemone splits down the oral aboral axis in the middle. Um, budding hydra, hydra buds forms of the parent parent and buds off. And sea stars can grow from fragmentation. Shit are. Also, animals use parthenogenesis. This is, a, this is a case where egg develops without fertilization. It can be haploid, diploid, water fleas, aphids, male ant drones, male wasp drones. Some reptiles and amphibians and fish utilizes, utilize this method. They also reproduce sexually and then reproduce re reproductive cells from two individuals combined and fused. You can have separate sexes or multiple sexes in each individual. Then there's the hermaphrodite, hermaphroditism, where individual has both female, male, and female reproductive systems. Many invertebrates, worms, slugs, snails, they may self-fertilize, but they can also mate with others instead. Uh, individual sex is determined by the chromosomes, X and Y, male mammals and plants, ZW is female birds. We said this is hemizygous. Birds, female birds are hemizygous. Some reptiles use environmental sex determination. So, uh, so temperature during development determines the sex. So warm uh, environment produces females and cold environment produces males. Some change their reproductive organs entirely. Oysters, born male, will change the body parts and lay eggs. And ras fish are sequential hermaphrodites, where females will grow to replace dead dominant male fish. Um, so the, how does the uh, fertilization occur? External fertilization occurs usually in water where both sperm and eggs are released into the water. This is the case for nearly all fish, crustaceans, mollusks, squid, frog, as well as coral and octopuses. Then there's the internal fertilization, oviparity. That means fertilized eggs are laid outside the parent's body. And then it develops there and receiving uh, nourishment from the yolk and this includes some fish, reptiles, and few mammals, but all birds use this method. And there's the ovovi parity. Uh, fertilized eggs are retained in the female, and the embryo obtains nourishment from the egg yolk. This includes some fish, sharks, <clears throat> lizard, and snakes. Uh, and by the way, in oviparity, eggs are retained until they're ready to hatch, then they are laid. Viviparity, youngs are born, born alive. They obtain their nourishment from the female and are born in varying states of maturity. This is most mammals. Some fish do this and few reptiles do this. So, um, A, shows oviparity, uh, frog, or uh, no, what? No, uh, A, B, C, oh yeah, right. No, this is A, yeah. Oviparity, uh, seen in beetles. Ovoviparous fish, seen here. And here's a newborn squirrel. And here's a frog. It's carrying or mating, not carrying, mating. Here's the, the, here's the uh, smaller male. Uh, 
Uh, so how does development occur? The fertilization forms the zygote, which is a was from which a uh, multicellular organism develops. The zygote rapidly divides into multiple cells, and then cell rearrange themselves into a hollow ball called blastula. And blastula is here's a egg rapidly dividing. It becomes this ball of cell, and then blastocele is formed surrounded by blastoderm, and that becomes the blastula. And in mammals, blastula forms from, from the blastocyst with the inner cell mass. And trophoblast in the outer layer. So here's a blastocele. And inside here, here are the inner cell mass. And outside is called the trophoblast. Then the gastrulation occurs where the blastula cells rearrange themselves into three germ layers, ectoderm, outside, mesoderm, middle, and endoderm. And then organogenesis occurs after the uh, gastrulation. Ectoderm forms the CNS, central nervous system, in the skin. Mesoderms form the muscles and connective tissues, and the endoderm forms the gut and internal organs. So how does human uh, reproduction occur? Gametes are produced through uh, meiosis and fertilization, and the hormones control, cycle, control the cycle in both males and females. <clears throat> and the hypothalamus monitors the need for follicle-stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone production, and then release the released from the anterior pituitary. The FSH and LH effect affect reproductive structures to cause formation of sperm and preparation of egg for the release and the possible fertilization. The process is shown here. It's really complicated. I'm not going to go over this. You can take a look at it if you want to. But for the scope of the class, I, I think this is, this is a little too much. Here's a, a developmental stage at nine weeks. You can see embryo developing. And this is the beginning of the second trimester. And then third trimester sees the rapid growth of the fetus ready for uh, the birth. Okay, that's all I have. That's all I have today.